Hi everybody, it's Carlin and Ian from The Real Outdoor Experience. Thank you for tuning in to our Goose Hunting for Beginners series. This is episode 9, and we are with the guys from Steel Shot Guide Service as they clean and process some of the geese that we have harvested. You cannot get any more real than this, and although part of hunting, some of these scenes may be disturbing to some viewers. Therefore, viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to the Real Outdoor Experience series on Goose Hunting for Beginners. This series is brought to you by Mossberg Firearms, Kent Cartridge, All Tan Safe Outdoors, and Steel Shot Guide Service. Now let's get to it. A can of goose, unless it's a bigger bird, doesn't really have a lot going on. You get the breast, the size, some people like the hearts. Um, yeah. The easiest place to start with that is, if you come up down off the collarbone, you'll feel kind of a V there. And then that bee, you can get your thumb in, got the tough of the feathers, and a lot of times you can just pull that down. What this does is open it up, as you can see there. Sometimes you might have to use a knife to get underneath the skin, as what you're trying to do there. And this one is just cut some of that skin back off of that, and then I keep everything clean, just like so. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get down to the bottom of the breast there. And I'll show you why I do that in a second here. I'll get this other side opened up. And when you're going along the skin, you're going along that. When you, if you do need to cut, just on the white, so you're not cutting into your meat, then you have no loss. So what I do is I put a hand on, I pull the, the, the breast back to kind of put some tension on it, and then right along the keel bone there, We'll do a slit, and from there, I'll take my finger in, you can get down under the rib cage, and you can feel that along the back side of my thumb. Now, my breast, you see how it's kind of peeling away, and that's what I want to get my feathers down far enough for, because it's just peeling away nicely. But right here, I have my collarbone, so I'm going to take my knife at this point, and run down my collarbone as tight as I can without cutting into the bone, right? I don't obviously want the beat or the bone in my meat. And now I'm attached with just one little section and I can go right. What do you call it the collarbone? I've always called it the wishbone. The wishbone, <laughs> wishbone, collarbone, yeah. Here. Now we're gonna get to that leg is. You can see it kind of start before we pulled our skin back for the, for the breast. So I can pull that down a little bit further going behind it. You can see it's starting to reveal itself a bit there. What I do here is just cut this skin up. So now I'm really starting to get to it. As Lance continues to remove the legs, we discuss plucking and roasting a bird. The guys mentioned that geese are very similar to a wild turkey. There is little to no meat on the back and the wings, and they just don't roast the same as domestic birds. But personal preference, if you want to give it a try, there's no harm. Next, Lance removes the heart. The rib cage, I just, a little slice there. In the back, where it's much soft tissue there. Pull up. On the rim cage. You'll like see the heart is right there. A lot of people really enjoy these. And they just pull on out and then you have another piece of uh, edible meat. Take the time, prepare your game meat properly, and it will save you time in the kitchen when you go to cook it. Give it a final look. Remove any fat, silver skin, or tendons that are left over. It really does make a difference in taste. Thanks everybody for staying tuned to this episode. We're going to get to the cooking episode right after this. As always, keep it real. Thanks for tuning in everybody. Take care for now.